skills. Questions swirled in his mind like leaves in a storm. Could he do better? Could he rise above this easy monster? Pride swelled as praise flowed from the sensei's lips, a nod to his prowess. The path forward became clearer, a beacon lighting his way, a query, a moment of decision, and the instructor's resolve solidified. Tier one wasn't enough. The challenge was pushed further, higher. Yu Sung's heart soared, contentment in his veins as he held that remote, a key to greater trials. The second tier beckoned, a new foe rising to face him, the shark ape, a fearsome opponent. Auto-hunting engaged, not for the easy way out, but to etch movements into his memory. Each strike, each dodge, a step toward mastery. He moved with grace, his new physique a symphony of power and control. A single punch, a calculated blow, and the bot fell, defeated. Surprise rippled through the crowd, jaws dropping in awe. Kang's eyes burned with jealousy, an ember of resentment. Sunguk's approval warmed him, a validation of his efforts. But the journey wasn't over. Spectators' questions hung in the air, curiosity a tapestry woven around him. The instructor's voice cut through the chatter, a request for a meeting, a chance to discuss the future. In the staff room, tea was offered, a quiet moment amid the storm. Praise flowed like a river, each word a stepping stone to a new opportunity. A test score, a number on a page, couldn't capture his true potential. Balance, consistency, these were his strengths, markers of exceptional training. An offer, intriguing and laden with promise, was placed before him. The path diverged, a choice to make. Celebration followed, a gathering of minds, laughter and camaraderie filling the air. A question lingered, a thread waiting to be woven into his story, a hunter firm, a place to belong. The student's surprise mirrored his own. He hadn't yet made a decision. Plans of a hunter agency, a dream shared, a vision to be realised. And then, the revelation. Sungguk scouting, his discovery of a gem hidden within the ranks. Yu Sung, the focus of their attention, a prospect of undeniable potential. Numbers aside, his balance of stats, his physical prowess, these marked him as a rising star. A final test lay ahead, a bridge to cross. The folder exchanged hands, a treasury of knowledge and preparation. The path was clear, the destination within reach. Yu Sung's hand trembled with anticipation, a signature, a confirmation, a destiny in the making. Reality snapped back, a colleague's voice breaking through the haze. Training, dedication, a path walked alone. Kang's anger simmered, jealousy a fire within him. A misunderstanding cleared, apologies offered, and Yu Sung stood, a solitary figure on the move. Kang's charge, a grab at his collar, a challenge unspoken. Confidence radiated from Yu Sung's gaze. He was ready, ready to prove his worth, to face whatever came his way. He ordered him to let go of his collar. Kang fell back, intimidated and apologising to others. Yu Sung left, staring at the night sky and recalling when he declined an offer. Disappointed, Sungguk asked if becoming a hunter was easily found. Yu Sung said he'd seize it on his own. The seated man smiled as the door shut. Below the night sky, Sungguk called his friend, excited about Yun Sung's potential. Yun Sung had one month left to work on weaknesses. He found a yellow screen beside auto hunting. He inserted a water bottle displayed on the screen. He could use it by blinking once. Though it went wrong at first, he was excited for possibilities. Only one removable item could be in the slot, edible for auto hunting. It saved time and quenched hunger and thirst. A month passed, the hunter license exam began. Kang and others arrived. Yu Song's body had changed. It was crowded, scouts watched, ignoring size. Kang flexed, Yu Song excused himself. Lee J Hak emerged from a premium car. He was a top solo hunter. His confident sister joined. She noted weak candidates she could beat. Kang and others listened. Yu Sung disappeared, surprising them. Jay Hak asked about his impressive body. He praised it, apologised, and got a card. Jay Hak left, and Sungguk said Yu Sung was always eccentric. He told his sister to try harder for the first rank. The participants had geared up in special suits, and the operator announced that they would face off against monsters inside the special field. They would fight in simulated environments and be vulnerable to medical injuries. All along, their excitement gained a tinge of concern, but the operator continued saying that considering how frequent and strong the fractures had grown, she warned them of the few intelligent and powerful monsters inside. They would have to fight each other inside the jungle, for capturing each other alive was the only way to earn points. Their test suits provided the basic and minimum modified protection. Although they could withstand blows to a certain degree, the accumulation of damages would stun the wearer with a shock. The unannounced point was to provide them with the experience of unexpected events. Amidst the resounding commotion, 
Yusung understood how the last survivor of the Battle Royale emerged as the winner. He was surprised when the auto-hunting activated abruptly, and he found the sister of Jaehak glaring at him with hostility. To her, Yusung had no chance of winning against her, for he seemed laughable in her regards. They walked through the designated entrance routes, and since each defeated person offered one point, he started to devise plans on how people with lots of points would also offer greater points, for only ten of them would remain as successful. The jungling expanse inside was extremely realistic, and the others engaged as the start of the test was announced. But Yu Song took off toward the denser growth. He was startled to find someone who exclaimed in panic, and before the auto-hunting could even activate properly, he knocked him out cold with a rapid blow. Although he was surprised, it didn't invoke panic inside, for he had fought the shark ape previously. However, even if that was in privacy, this point he had scored wasn't for a camera traced him in the scouting lobby. People discussed how unusual the simulation and the candidate levels were. Regardless of the danger, it was fun to watch. For Jayhack's sister, she came into their view while against two other candidates. She destroyed one suit with a single strike of a makeshift wooden sword, and furthermore battered the other one in the same violent manner. Lee Unseal's power in her pure state had already secured the first rank for her, but she had reportedly dealt with an organisation to awaken early, and also been trained by her elder Jayhack to fight against a tier three. Without awakening, with such a ridiculous potential, no one was even batting an eye at the others. Sunguk was watching the new student of his away from the mass, and Jayhak arrived, applauding how well his basics were. He further reveals how he had pretended to not know him, and greets his senior. Both of them were impressed by the other candidates, and Jayhak was certain that Yusung was Unseol's biggest threat. However, when he asked if he was teaching him a secret skill only the two knew about, Sunguk denied answering him. Soon Jayhak excused himself from the conversation, and the instructor hoped for his student to survive until the last 24 hours, for he would be awaiting the potential he had in store. After 68 of the 72 hours had lapsed, two substitute scouts were certain that Unseol would find herself the first ranking, and when the two reached to greet the ones due to leave, they found them petrified and grew appalled at what they witnessed firsthand. A few moments ago, the wise Yu Sung, who had managed to wrap vines around himself, was content with the 17 multi-purpose high-calorie dumplings he had made for himself, using the knowledge from his special classes. With his newfound armour and an auto-hunting inventory for storing the dumplings, he was confident. His body felt a sudden jolt, and he grew dizzy enough to faint. Ever since he had entered, he had no track of time in his fair share of sleepless hunting and survival. The drowsiness was overwhelmingly strong, but he stashed a calorie dumpling in his mouth and forced himself to stay awake, for it was to either hunt or to get hunted. He was alarmed as auto-hunting suddenly activated, and as he turned, he evaded a sharp blow dished out by a wooden sword. He had failed to even sense the presence until it activated, and could deduce that she was extremely skilled. Unseol commended his skill to avoid it, and as she lashed out again, he recognised the familiar hostile person he had sensed previously. However, he was elated at the adventurous nature of hers, and called her offence himself. He smiled, which was the last thing she needed to charge at him in full swing, in an attempt to impale him. His ventricular hands were barely helping against the force she portrayed, and he watched as she decided to hand a downward swing, which he intercepted using both of his hands. Although she remarked at him, she was troubled by the vines dissipating her strikes. He hadn't even activated auto-hunting yet, and flinched as she announced her intentions of turning her speed up a notch. He retaliated as she swung and reached to strike at him again. The fierce exchange was freaking out the audience across the screens. They recalled the name of the other ranked, Yu Song. His durability now felt annoying, and she demanded him to give in to his end already, for the time remaining in his hands was twenty minutes. Auto hunting was trying to do something that his useless gear could not cope up with. She spoke about how he could have emerged as the victor if he hadn't chanced upon her, and moved to foremost deal with the protective gear with just a single sharp blow. The battered vines were now falling apart. He noticed as she disappeared, but Wood calling Jayhack from a while ago, he recognised the moment she would appear behind him. Although she noticed him noticing her, the powerful strike landed regardless of it. The mind of Yusung debated if he was really about to lose, and he recalled the time he had asked Sungguk about the dangers that hunters faced in unexpected situations. The instructor spoke about how situations like getting isolated from a team, strong enemies, and lack of rations for a feud accounts. However, the solution that was most helpful was endurance. He suggested him to endure a hopeless situation anyhow, for after that, a path was bound to open up. 
Yunsung now pivoted himself and grabbed the sword, enduring it with all he could. He fed himself another of the calory balls as the owner of the sword watched. Her blade was being dealt with foremost. He broke through it with his bare fists, and she watched in disbelief, for to her he was just gravel on the road. She took pride in herself for being Jayhak's sister, and denying her loss against the gravel, stooped to hurl a punch at him. However, her legs gave in at that moment, for her stamina ran out. Grabbing her hand, Yu Sung pulled her in and threw a punch she could not possibly fend off as a blade user. The emotions on the faces of the audience were variable, but the outcome of the clash was definite. Nonetheless, her survivability was commendable, for the electric stun hadn't appeared, relaying that he had to try harder. But before he could land the final decisive blow, the end of the 72-hour long exam was announced. Candidates were requested to cease their actions, and as the voice thanked their participation, Yunsung applauded the precise timing they had and gave in to his overbearing exhaustion. The sight was unbelievable for the viewers who eagerly awaited the announcement of the final scores. What will happen next? Find out next time by staying tuned for our future recaps. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more great recaps.